One of the key points mentioned by Donald Trump earlier in the day, which was his biggest fear, is that the Democrats were in the process of committing electoral fraud, and he seemed to be worried that there may be some ballots which turn up at 4 a.m. in the morning on a, on a later date and, and, and would be counted. Um, so a, a couple of news agencies have actually done a fact check on this. In the U.S., reality check, uh, you know, they, they, actually, uh, they actually decided to explore this further. Have there been or has there been a history of electoral fraud in the United States? Now, there have been isolated cases, but the numbers are, are extremely low. And there's a quote from the head of the Federal Electoral Commission, Ellen uh, Weintraub, who said, there's simply no basis for the conspiracy theory that voting by mail causes fraud. And here's a number which should be quite interesting. The rate of voting fraud overall in the United States is less than 0.0009%, according to a 2017 study by the Brennan Center for Justice. So how Trump picks that up, one doesn't know. Joining us now, uh, Marty Subramaniam. He's been tracking the elections as closely as, as all of us here have been. You know, this entire uh, belief that there is electoral fraud in the work, it just isn't based on anything because, yes, Trump has raised examples uh, of how mistakes have been made, but that's not electoral fraud. There were instances when people's names and addresses didn't, ma uh, didn't match. The ballots sent to them were wrong, but those were corrected, right, in several states, in two or three states. So fraud taking place, there doesn't seem to be anything substantial on that at all. Hello, Dr. Dr. Roy? No, Vishnu here, but go ahead, yes. Hi, uh, Vishnu. I, hi. Um, uh, good evening to you and to your viewers. I thought it would be useful uh, to talk about the uh, different ways one could vote in this election, and I think there have been changes this time. First of all, one could vote on the day of the election yesterday, uh, but the other possibility is, of course, to vote by absentee ballot. Um, now, in addition, in many states, Arrangements have been made for people to vote early in person. I mean, New York is one of those. And this was conducted on several days. And just to get uh, a little bit uh, clearer about how this happens, for instance, if you take New York, you had to actually apply for an absentee ballot. And this was done by several people, really several weeks previously. So, and that was done after checking the electoral rolls. And they the ballots were sent with two envelopes and uh, and in, in, it's extremely likely and of course the, those have a, a code attached to them a bar code attached to them so that is, it's impossible for someone to for instance use my ballot it's impossible because that would be cross checked right and when you go and vote in person as i did in fact in my case the the ballot that i posted in the in the drop box in the election election office was somehow mislaid. So I went and voted in person, and they checked again to see if my ballot had been received. So there is no way that anyone could vote twice, for example. It's impossible, because there's so much of cross-checking. Okay. Now, it's possible there are mistakes Sorry. in terms of dispatch mm -hmm. delays and so on. So it's extremely, fraud as such is almost impossible. I think it's, as you pointed out, it's a very, very trivial right. percentage of the total. That's crazy, crazy. Uh, th Professor, this is uh, Pranoy here. Uh, thank you hi, very much hi, for joining hi. us. Thank you, Pranoy. Hi, good to, good to see you. You, um, see you. you know, yeah, you yeah. understand business, and I just wanted to understand from you with some examples of how deeply ingrained or intertwined is the U.S. economy and the Chinese economy. And uh, while, you know, Trump may say anti-China things, the economies, I mean, the U.S. economy, how dependent is it? How can, can they ever really extricate, them, extricate themselves from China? Uh, Pranay, that's a very good question. I think as a practical matter, uh, it's almost impossible to separate these two economies. They're so intertwined, as you said. Really? Uh, and it's not just some obscure industrial product. It's really, it's everyday life. If you if the average consumer in the U.S. orders something from uh, from Amazon or Walmart, the chances are a significant proportion of those products would be either made in China 
are assembled in China or, right. or some raw material supplied from China. So if you had a simple test, and by the way, this goes for the Indian consumer as well. If you said, can you get along in life with, without anything manufactured directly or indirectly from China, the answer would be it's impossible. It's impossible, basically. So I think to right. separate these two economies is impossible. And I think everyone knows and that, even, of course. Yeah. So even the farmers uh, Absolutely. in America are quite dependent on demand from China, Absolutely. right? And even yeah. The, yeah. the monetary, the funds that invest because they get no return in, in America, all, uh, yeah. what are the various, I mean, it, it's all over 360 degrees dependent, Absolutely. right? The financial markets are becoming more and more uh, interdependent. Uh, the Chinese have opened up their bond markets. I've been researching that in the last few years. The bond markets are now open via Hong Kong, uh, and they will be even more liberalized in the coming years. And the Chinese bond markets are huge, and the large asset managers, the likes of Fidelity, BlackRock, Vanguard, etc., they cannot but invest in the Chinese markets. As you probably know, Pranay, uh, in the last few months, Morgan Stanley uh, Capital International, MSCI, uh, has increased the weightage for, for Chinese stocks, which means that perforce, almost every investor who invests in a mutual fund or a pension fund has to invest in China. There's no two ways about it. So the politicians can say whatever they want, but the markets are quite different. 